to install Zotero, you need to go to the zotero.org website and then you have the option to click on download. Once you have done that, you will be prompted to install Zotero 6 for your chosen operating system. In this case, it is Windows. That will prompt the download, which will begin and allow you to run setup for Zotero. Now, Zotero is available for Mac as well as Linux. On this occasion, we are going to install the Windows version. Clicking on the file will open up the run program for the installation of Zotero and we'll run the Zotero setup wizard which you can advance to install the program. Clicking on next will take you to the option to install Zotero to your computer and once that is complete clicking on finish will launch the Zotero desktop app. Once you have installed Zotero your browser will open and will prompt you to install the relevant connector for your web browser. In this case, it is Chrome. It takes us through to the Chrome Web Store where we can add the Zotero connector to Chrome by clicking on the Add to Chrome button. Now, once that is complete, it will appear as an icon within our web browser of choice. Sometimes, depending on your settings in your browser, you will notice that the extension doesn't actually appear visible. To overcome that, clicking on the puzzle icon will enable you to pin the relevant connector or extension to your browser of choice. So in this scenario, I'm going to choose Zotero connector. Click on pin and there you can see that is now visible all of the time whilst I'm using this browser. And that's that. You've installed Zotero for desktop and the connector, which we will need to save items to Zotero. I would also encourage you to take the opportunity to register and take full advantage of your Zotero account. The key takeaway of this being the option to sync and access your files from a range of devices.